I'm Christina from the Lillooet Public Library. Welcome to Virtual Storytime. I'm thankful to be here today on the territory of the Stotlian people. Can you guess what this week's theme is? Do you see any little clues around? That's right. Today we're reading stories and singing some songs about dinosaurs. Dinosaurs are amazing creatures that existed over 65 million years ago. Way before the Ice Age, way before the woolly mammoths, there were giant reptiles all over the planet. Today we can find fossils that show dinosaur bones from long ago. You can see dinosaur bones in places like museums, like the Royal Tyrrell Museum of Paleontology in Drumheller, Alberta. I actually got to work there seven years ago. It was so cool. Well, let's sing a fun song to get us moving. Pretend you're a dinosaur. So I'm gonna pretend I'm a T-Rex with short arms and big legs. I follow the actions, so. Dinosaur, dinosaur, turn around. Dinosaur, dinosaur, stomp the ground. Dinosaur, dinosaur, show your claws. Dinosaur, dinosaur, snap your jaws. Dinosaur, dinosaur, turn around. Dinosaur, dinosaur, sit back down. Today we're going to read a few fun stories that have dinosaurs as characters. The stories are imaginative because humans and dinosaurs didn't actually live on Earth at the same time. The first one is called Drumheller Dinosaur Dance. Drumheller, Alberta is one of the best places in Canada to see dinosaur fossils and learn about dinosaurs. It's a cool place to make a road trip to. This was written by Robert Hudberder, illustrated by Bill Slavin and Esperanza Melo, and uh, published by Kids Can Press. Drumheller dinosaurs lie around, bones buried deep in ancient ground. Dry bones rest in dusty sleep, skulls, claws, jaws down dinosaur deep. Drumheller dinosaurs make no noise, all day they're as silent as dinosaur toys. But when the moon rises in the sky, drumheller dinosaurs transmorgify. They stir their bones from secret cracks and assemble themselves fronts, sides, and backs. Drumheller dinosaurs rise up tall Across the badlands, they skeleton crawl. They creep to a spot that they all know. They band together, roar, one, two, three, go. They grab buried drums and begin a beat. They rattle, clack, stomp on dinosaur feet. Boom, bidi, boom, rattly clack. Thumpity thump, wickety whack. Cymbals crash, stone castanets snap. They dance back to life with a clickety clack. Boom bidi boom, rattly clack, thumpity thump, wickety whack. They tango, fandango, and break dance with ease. They whirl on their tails and twirl on their knees. Boom bidi boom, rattly clack, thumpity thump. Wickety whack. With wild tambourines, they shimmy and shake. They rock and they roll. It's a dino earthquake. Boom, buddy, boom, rattly clack. Thumpity thump, wickety whack. The thunderous beat rolls into town. Sleep is disturbed for miles around. A terrible storm, the grown-ups shout, but the kids all know that the dinos are out. The dinosaurs' party is loud and long, with drumming and dancing and drumheller song. Boom, buddy, boom, rattly clack, thump, buddy, thump, wickety whack. The kids go to sleep to the dinosaur beat. They bob their heads and tip-tap their feet. 
They dance in their dreams with wiggles and jiggles, smiles on their faces and mouths full of giggles. But when dark night gives way to the day, drumheller dinosaurs stash drums away. Then off they clatter through dinosaur land, keeping the beat of their drumheller band. Boom, woody boom, rattly clack, thumpity thump, wickety whack. Across the badlands they creep to their beds, unsnap tired bones, and bury sleepy heads. Look at this one, you see he's putting his own head in the ground. Maybe for a paleontologist to dig up and discover. They're deep in the earth by dawn's first light, where they wait all day long for dinosaur night. Ooh. And that's Drumheller Dinosaur Dance. Wasn't that fun? Did you know that there are hundreds of types of dinosaurs out there? And many more that we haven't even discovered yet. Let's look at some photos of a few well-known types of dinosaurs and we can practice saying their names together. This is Meet the Dinosaurs by DK Readers. We'll have some fun trying to pronounce dinosaur names. Watch out, here come the dinosaurs. Whoa. Here is the scary Tyrannosaurus. It has sharp teeth. Can you say Tyrannosaurus? Here is the huge Brachiosaurus. It has a long neck. Can you say Brachiosaurus? Brachiosaurus? Good job. Here is the tough Triceratops. It has three horns. Can you say Triceratops? Triceratops? Nice one. Here is the fierce Velociraptor. It has sharp claws. Can you say Velociraptor? Velociraptor. Here is the spiky Stegosaurus. It has a very small brain. Can you say Stegosaurus? Stegosaurus. Here is the armored Ankylosaurus. It has a tail club. Can you say Ankylosaurus? Inca lo sor us. Ankylosaurus. Which dinosaur do you like best? The one who is clever, scary, bird like, spiky, or noisy? Did you know that you can borrow a dinosaur kit from the library? This is brand new. This is a dinosaur kit. And just like a book or a movie, something you could borrow, take home for a few weeks, and then you return it later. So let's see what's inside. So there's a cool card game with dinosaurs, Dinosaur Mighty Match. There's a few DVDs. There's a bag full of fun little toy dinosaurs that you could play with outside or in your bedroom. And then there's a bunch of books. So there's a, a book about drawing dinosaurs and learning about different kinds, and some storybooks like this one, all sorts of things for all ages. So this is a great thing that if you're keen on dinosaurs, you can borrow. Um, just ask your librarian about it. I'm gonna take out some of these dinosaur toys and we can sing a song together called 10 Little Dinosaurs, written by Super Simple Songs. It's pretty easy and you can count along. One little, two little, three little dinosaurs, four little, five little, six little dinosaurs, seven little, eight little, nine little dinosaurs, ten little dinosaur babies.
Should we do that one more time and you can count them all? These are super fun to play with. One little, two little, three little dinosaurs, four little, five little, six little dinosaurs, seven little, eight little, nine little dinosaurs, ten little dinosaur babies. We're going to read one more book together, and this one is a little silly. It's called How Do Dinosaurs Say I'm Mad? by Jane Yolen, Mark Teague, and published by the Blue Sky Press. This one is a, is a kind of a silly book, but it's pretty fun. I think you'll like it. How does a dinosaur act when he's mad? Does he roar, slam the door, yell at mom and dad? When he can't get his way, does he boast, I'll be bad? Is that what dinosaurs say when they're mad? When Papa says no, does he grumble and pout? Ah. When Mama says no, does he throw toys about? Does that sound familiar? Do you look like this when you're mad? When he's told to sit still, does he kick at a chair? Have you ever done that? Does he act as if mother and father aren't there? When he hears, take a nap, does he give dirty looks? When he's told quiet down, does he rip up his books? No cookies today? Flam mug at the cat. Time for bed. Does he bang on the floor with his bat? No, a dinosaur doesn't. He counts up to 10. Then after a timeout, breathes calmly, and then he cleans up his mess, and he picks up the mug and pats the cat. He says, I'm so sorry. He gives a big hug. His anger is gone. So he opens the door. Not mad. I'm so glad, little dinosaur. And there's a bunch of cool pictures of dinosaurs. I think that's a fun book. Now, my suggestion for a dino themed activity today is to make your very own dino toy from cardboard. Now, as you can see from the picture, you just need a few pieces of cardboard, some scissors, and then if you want to color it, um, some crayons or markers. So it's just, just three pieces. One is the body. You can see you just carved it like this. And then I've got two leg pieces that just fit like this. You can take them out and you slide them back in. And then you've got your own little toy that you can play with, you can take outside. And it can be lots of fun, your own little dino toy. Very easy to make just from cardboard. That's it for this week's virtual story time at the Lillooet Public Library. Thanks for listening, and feel free to share this video. Tune in next Thursday at 10.30 for a new program. Let's sing that dinosaur song from the beginning one more time, and I'll add a little twist on at the end. And so once again, I want you to stand up, pretend to be a dinosaur. Again, I'm going to do the short arms sort of T-Rex thing here, and follow along with the actions. So dinosaur, dinosaur, turn around. Dinosaur, dinosaur, stomp the ground. Dinosaur, dinosaur, show your claws. Dinosaur, dinosaur, snap your jaws. Dinosaur, dinosaur, turn around. Dinosaur, dinosaur, wave goodbye. Rawr, goodbye, goodbye. Oh, <laughs>